Welcome to Craft Activity 4.2. Remember, that's found at Beanstack, and you can get to Beanstack by going to the Macintosh Memorial Library website, clicking on the activities, the castle, and you will be able to log into Beanstack and get to Activity 4.2. Today, we're going to make this. Isn't this fun? Um, we will um, create this from a tissue box. And I've opened my tissue box already because that makes it easier for me to um, cut the paper. But if you want to paint your box, that's okay. It's up to you. I just didn't really have any paint, so I decided to go with paper. And what I'm going to do is do it with white paper first. And what I'm going to do is make some measurements so I see how big I need to make this. And I'm going to use a paper cutter just because that's faster, but I would highly recommend scissors for you. This way I can use this without ruining my big paper, my nice paper that I want to use, and I can see how it's going to fit. Yeah, looks good. So then I'll come and I'll get, I'm going to make the outside of it blue, dark blue. And I did that ahead of time. So first what I did, I measured this. Then I put this paper behind here and I got it all lined up. And then I drew like this. And then that's how I knew where to cut out. And so that makes it really easy to see and you get it to be the right size. And I always try to cut a little in from the line just because it's okay if it's a little big, but if it's a little small, not as much. It doesn't look quite as good. So I always just go a little bit bigger and then it'll cover up your cardboard box better too. You don't have to have a tissue box. I just found a tissue box worked really well. There. See? Then you get your little window. And again, glue stick works great on this. I'm just going to use this because this dries really quickly. So I'm going all the way around it. I didn't work fast enough here. That is the thing about a glue gun. It does cool off and get hard really quickly. There, so that's the front. Now I've already just used two pieces of paper to fill in the back. And now I'm going to reassemble my um, tissue box. So I gotta put glue all along the top and bring that up. So if you paint your box, you don't have to do this, which is one good thing about painting, but I just didn't have any paint. Then you're gonna put that down a little glue on each of the little tabs, pinch it, pinch it, and then glue along here. And close that up. Then you can kind of smoke it down like that. A little more glue right in there. And pinch it. Get those small tabs in again.
So if you're going to use paint, then you'll need to paint the inside too. And then close it up and flip it around. Now I opted just to do this. It doesn't really matter about the bottom. Hmm. Thing is, curling a little bit, isn't it? So I'm just gonna peel it off a little bit, give it a little more glue dots. There we go. So now you have your aquarium. And you can, if you want, of course, cover this part. And I'm just using scrap paper for this. Some good glue. Then if you need to, you can trim it a little bit later. going to make a little snip where I need to make it. I just push my scissors up against the side and then I know I'm cutting it the right size. Some more glue. Line it up. Make some nice edges. And then glue down the bottom. And then I just use my scissors again and I rest them against the bottom of the box like this and cut and then you've covered your box. And I see I need a little trimming back here. The back doesn't really matter and the bottom doesn't really matter. But it's a nice idea to cover the top as well. Ooh, here's a nice long glue piece, perfect. I like it. There you go. And I'll glue this on. Now the fun part. Now you just set that aside and now we're going to make some fish. And how I made the fish, I just went like this. I made a small triangle. And then I made a bigger triangle. And I cut those out. Then, I put them together voila, instant fish. Now I think this is a little bit big for my box to have five of these, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit. So which means I need to make this one a little bit smaller too. Yeah, I think that looks like a little bit better size when you consider five of these in here, all right? So what I did then was just glue these together. And then you have what's called a template. So now I want to think, okay, what color fish do I want? Well, I want a pink one for sure and I trace it. Now let's see, I'm probably not going to do a dark blue one or an, this color blue because that's the background and it won't show, but this would be cool. So 
So I'm going to just put two of them together and cut out two at once to save some time. And did you notice how I did that right at the edge so I'm not wasting paper? Put my glasses down to cut this. I like, um, I think this yellow would look really great. And probably this orange would look really nice too. We're gonna have some very colorful fish. Be really fun to have a true aquarium with all of these fish in, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know if you've ever gone snorkeling before. I bet some people have. Um, snorkeling is really a neat experience because you really truly do see these beautiful corals and beautiful, beautiful swim fish swimming. When my daughter was really tiny, um, we took her snorkeling. She was probably four maybe. And she put her mask on and her fins and she went down under the water with it and she came back up and she goes, do you know what? There are fish down there. <laughs> and it was just so exciting for her to see these. All right, so now we've got our five fish. That was a pretty quick. Now, the next thing you're going to do is just use scraps of paper to um, decorate your fish. I'm going to take some blue sparkly and I'm cut a piece and then I'm going to just make little stripes because there are lots of striped fish. one fish done. And now I'm going to just decorate these randomly and then I'll show you the rest. After you get your five fish decorated, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and on the top, and this is my bottom because I didn't cover it, then I'm going to make five holes and I'm going to do it from in the front and then move to the back, but don't line it up, move to the middle. And then now, right in the middle in front, in the back, and over here. And so you end up with five holes. And I'm not sure those holes are going to be quite big enough, but I used something very sharp to get it started. And then if I have to make a bigger hole, I can do that more easily. But what I want you to think about, this is not easy to do. And make sure you have someone 
help you do this. Just at least get it started for you. So I'm gonna choose some straws here. Yeah, and they don't fit in, so I need to use a pen now. And I'm wiggling it in, wiggling, wiggling, wiggling. Yeah, now let's see. Yeah, perfect. But it makes it a lot easier if you have it started with something sharp. Even like a, a nail can be really sharp and that can help you. And one thing I would suggest is when you put the holes in the back, try not to be over the seam in back. Move a little forward from that. Because if you have to go through all of that cardboard, it's really, really hard to make the hole. So if you just stay in front of this seam, that helps a lot. See, even if I already have that hole. And see how I'm just working it carefully? I'm just kind of going round and round. Okay, the next thing you need to do is put in your five straws. Make sure you have the bendy part sticking out. I'm gonna use five of the same color, but I think it doesn't really matter. Now see what I did here, why this straw won't stand up, is because I didn't get it. I'm going to have to make a special little cut down in here, which is hard to do. <laughs> so because I did not stay in front of that seam. Yeah, see, there we go. Now one more. Now I get to glue on my fish. And it's nice if your fish are going different directions. And kind of think ahead of time, say, okay, well what fish look good next to each other? What has a lot of contrast? Make sure your eye is in the right place. That looks kind of nice. So then it's pretty simple. You just put some glue either on your um, straw or on your fish and just glue it on. And then it gets a little trickier once you start adding fish so there's less room in there. And also what's really a good idea is to put some low on the straw and some high on the straw so that um, you can see all your fish really well. This fish should go this way. See your fish? Now, the finishing touch is I'm going to use some green glitter and I'm going to cut out seaweed. See how carefully I'm doing this? I'm totally just freehanding this. And then you put a little glue, but you want glue on this side, on the side you want to show, and then you stick it inside on the front.
coming together, isn't it? This is skinny seaweed. So you'll do that all the way across. <laughs> I feel like I have spider webs on me from that glue stick. So you'll finish with the seaweed across the front and then you've created a fish stick. Now, next time you come, next time you listen, um, oh, you know what? Tomorrow is a special day. We don't have one on YouTube yet. What's going to happen is you're going to let me know where you live. And if you live in town, Miss Mary's going to bike around town with a GoPro camera on my head. And then you're going to come out. I'm going to email your parents and tell them when I'm going to come by. And then you're going to be out in your yard and we're going to, you're going to wave at me. And then we're going to turn all those waves into a video that will be posted on YouTube. So you're probably going to be in a video. Make sure you tell your parents to let me know. All right. See you next time.